Yo, what's going on guys? Bobby here and today we are back with another video, but today's gonna be a little bit of a different one. So I need to make a video. It's been a while since my last one, but as a lot of you guys might know, I recently lost and we are completely out of BSC and it's only July and that's just crazy. For the last three years, you know, it's been my goal to make worlds and not just make worlds, but do well at worlds. And the last three years, I not only made it, but I did pretty good for myself. You know, the first time I made it, I came eighth place. The year after that, fourth. And last year, I came top two. You know, things were going really well. At the start of my career, things weren't really going well for me. So as stuff started to get better, you know, I started to have a lot of fun and things were getting really awesome. And then as you guys know, I lost two days ago. And... That was the final chance for us to make LCQ or Worlds, and we are just completely out now. And I'm making this video not because I want to, like, rant about anything. I just feel like I owe you guys a video. You know, I have a channel. I'm supposed to be uploading, and I just have nothing or no interest to upload anything, I guess, besides this right now because I just lost, and I just don't feel like it at the moment. So I'm just going to make this quick little video talking about how we got here, and hopefully in a few days, you know, I can get some actual content out. But yeah, at the start of the year, we got a really unlucky first qualifier bracket where all three of the North American Worlds teams were all put into one quarter of the bracket. And the way that it was seeded, no matter, you know, if who won, how we won, one of those three Worlds teams, unfortunately, were not going to make it out. The first qualifiers bracket had us, Luminosity, and Tribe, who were the three Worlds teams from North America. And the way it was seeded, just one of us couldn't make it. Like, that's just... That's just the reality of it. No matter how it went down, one of those three world teams wouldn't make it. And unfortunately, it was us. Now, although it was fair, you know, it just kind of sucked because there were a lot of teams in the monthly finals that don't even really play the game. Like they have like two hours in a week just because they got a free bracket because, you know, all the good teams were put into one quarter. So, that, you know, that kind of sucked. But we took our L and we lost. And unfortunately, because of that loss, we had a really uphill battle for the rest of the year. You know, every single qualifiers for every month when teams got a free path, we would face one or two Worlds or LCQ teams just to qualify. I mean, it was absolutely insane what we had to go through. And our monthly finals luck was not much better. I mean, there's a winner's bracket side and a loser's bracket side um, when you do qualifiers. And typically, if you call from the winner's bracket, you get like a pretty easy round. And we qualified. We beat Elevate, who NA is sending to Worlds. Great team in qualifiers and we got rewarded somehow by facing tribe gaming round one who was currently number one in our region and you know we beat them unfortunately we lost the luminosity round two after but we did climb back a little bit in points and then next month what happens we face elevate round one who won monthly final three so we kept having stuff like that happen fast forward to monthly final five and you know just like the year started we were put into a bracket with tribe and luminosity where we had to win both matches just like qualifiers and just like qualifiers each of them only had to win one and unfortunately we lose now what we did all year was truly insane i mean i've never tried harder in a year to qualify neither have any of my teammates i don't think there's been a team in bsc history that has had you know a harder path to qualify than what we had to do this year and we were really so close and you know i'm not too disappointed in myself and my team because we did really good given the chances, you know, we had. And, you know, we did have our chances. We could have qualified. We did have our moments. And unfortunately, we couldn't push through. But we all tried our hardest. And that's, you know, something to be kind of proud of. Now, we lost two days ago. And I said a couple things on Twitter. That's where most of the pro players communicate. But what I didn't say in my tweets was that, you know, the way we lost was absolutely ridiculous. So you look at the tribe match. We won the first two sets, both of which we probably didn't have the best you know, team comp, Tribe probably had a better comp, um, but we were playing really well. I mean, we were playing kind of out of our mind. The fact that we we're up 2-0, even though in my, you know, eyes, they had the better comp both times. I mean, that's really impressive considering Tribe is a really good team. Um, we load into set three and, you know, immediately all three of us were kind of like, you know, what's wrong with the game? It's like skipping frames. It's like lagging. And um, it wasn't terrible. It wasn't the worst thing in the world, but it was, it's, you know, it's really hard to be a good team like Tribe when your game is like skipping and it's not just me it's all three of us because you know we're all in the same room you know we lose that set but we think you know it's possible that it might have been the comp because again we think tribe has a better comp that set 
Um, and then, you know, set four and set five happen and our delay is just horrendous. Now, for those of you who've watched the Twitch live streams or who have watched my old Power League videos where a lot of the games are on the Europe server, you guys know as a pro player who travels the world, who plays on a lot of different Brawl Stars servers, it takes one second to know if you have good connection or bad connection if you play the game a lot. So, you know, we tried to power through it. We tried not to complain too much in the moment, but it was you know, just really difficult and we lost. I went to the front of the place that we were paying to play in that's, you know, supposed to have good Wi-Fi and I asked them for a refund. They told us, you know, they can't give us a refund because we didn't ask them to make the Wi-Fi better. Now I said, you know, how could you make the Wi-Fi better? You know, there's 50 people playing a game in this place. You know, you can't just unplug the router and plug it back in. There's 50 people here. And he said, well, we were downloading a bunch of games on our computers. So we could have just stopped downloading them to help your Wi-Fi. And then that just like, I don't even know what to say to that. Like imagine all the stuff that we've gone through this entire year. And that's like the answer you get. And you know, we were doing good the first two sets. I don't know if we would have won. I don't know what would have happened, but we won the first two sets. And then, you know, the Wi-Fi turns trash and we lose the next six games. I'm not blaming the Wi-Fi, but imagine, you know, being us and working as hard as we did given the chances all year being up 2-0 and then you know that happens it's just it's just ridiculous it's not really the nicest way to lose after our entire year but yeah so that's you know our year's over and it's only july and this hasn't happened for three or four years now to where i haven't made worlds so this is a really weird feeling i don't really know what i'm gonna do i don't really know what the plan is moving forward for me my team my content um what you know if i'm gonna go heavy on youtube streaming like i have I've no idea what i'm gonna do but you know you guys have been unbelievable fans like yeah there's people who talk negatively or poorly online but that comes with playing competitive you know we came second in the world people are going to talk good they're going to talk bad about us and that's part of our job and that's okay so you guys you know to my fans you don't always have to defend me you don't always have to do whatever like i don't take the hate or anything personally but i did feel like i owed you guys a video so i thought you know this would be a good way to kind of end my competitive year just make a nice little video and when in a few days when i'm feeling a little bit better I'm gonna go back to my normal content. Now, this is the first time I've ever done anything like this. So if this was a bad video, if you guys didn't like it, like I don't even I don't even know what this is. I'm just talking to a camera, but that's the end of my BSC year. I'm sorry to the fans I let down. You know, I love my team and I don't really have anything else to say. Congratulations to the four teams in North America who made it. I hope they do well and I hope next year goes good for me. And until the next video, you know, I'll see you guys later. Again, appreciate you guys always supporting and I'll be back soon. Peace.